Uh, hello, this is, uh, this is Josh Hunter. I'm presently in the city of Santa Monica, California. Now, you may wonder why I always say my name and where I am at the beginning of every video. I just assume, like, someone watching this, they're only going to watch, like, one video. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't believe that anyone can fucking want to, like, watch this constantly. So I just want to give them the immediate relevant information so that when they go forward, they're not getting, you know, false information. Anyway, so as you all know, <laughs> I'm going to be like a very popular YouTuber and everyone is going to be like a really, really happening <laughs> uh, YouTube, you know, this place. Um, but as of this taping, I have no idea who my audience is. Um, so I've got like 200, 30, <laughs> 30 something videos, um, and, but I don't know who my audience is. As I mentioned previously, like I, I was on YouTube like ten, like ten years ago, but just briefly, right? there was like six videos with me like ten years ago, um, and my voice sounds different. Like, I sound like I call it my affluent accent. Like I'm just like, hello, it's me, Josh Hunter. <laughs> you know that type of thing. But like this, since I've been homeless for like eight years, I sound a little different. So I, I don't know if that's because of the environment or like I'm just like hearing who my potential audience is. Like sometimes you adapt your voice to your to your audience. So uh, so I want to make as many preparations as possible because I'm pretty much having to guess. Like because because I mean I, like like I really am gonna this is gonna work out. It really is. Okay, it's 200 videos. <laughs> it's 200 videos. Okay, it's all the same. Like, it's like my same face. It's like it's, I'm just talking. Like it's a it's a podcast with my fucking face, but it's it's, it's good. It's good. And uh, but if like once people like start like you know <coughs> coming on board, like I just I want to make sure <laughs> I want to make sure that I'm you know uh, polite because if you got a different audience, like I don't know who it could be like like my audience could be like like 55 year old like retired uh, like like an engineer <laughs> or geologist or something like I could just like. Just old men, like that's my audience. It's like just like a hundred thousand old men. Like, how would I know? Like that's what. Or it could be my audience could just be like mothers, like just mothers. It's like it's like oh my god, this guy he's kind of like he's all the things my son never was. Oh my god. <laughs> like I don't know. So I I want I I don't want to you know I don't want to like become like a. Do yeah, this thing is like, I don't want to become like a doormat to my. <laughs> I don't want to become like a doormat to my audience. You know, I want to remain like authentic <laughs> and genuine. I gave a speech last night like you wouldn't have fucking believe. I was out on the beach and I found I found one half drunken truly, like one unopened truly, and a tall boy truly, and uh, what is it? A tall boy, um, uh, like and and what's it called? It's like a Clamato or something, but it was it was good. But I didn't I didn't expect it to hit me that like that hard, and I was just like ranting on the beach for like three hours <laughs> to no one. I was just like I was like I, like I was so frustrated. Like I'm just I don't know if, like if, if anybody was there. Like they could like look at this fucking guy. So I I want to get ahead of this just in case like someone was filming me. Like so I was I was out there and I was just going on and on and on and on and on. I was doing gestures and I was like I'm just a dog in hell. Anyway, um, so I'm going to tell you about some of my plans because um, um, once things get settled, I'm going to I'm going to have certain rules, and I, I did mention this in a previous video as well. But I want to I want to add some more rules. I think I'm going to always wear a body cam, <laughs> like no matter what, like any scenario where I'm not like in my bed sleeping. <laughs> Like, I'm going to wear a video camera on my body at all times. Um, I'm going to get a fucking um, bulletproof vest. Um, and um, I think maybe I'll get, I don't know, some, like, some other cool stuff. Uh, just in case. Because, like, I don't know. Like, I don't, like, if my audience ends up being, like, people, like, with, like, bad parents as well. Like, there just happens to be, like, 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 youths with shitty parents, <laughs> and they decide, oh, this is the channel I want to watch. Like, we fucking hate our parents, but we'll watch your fucking channel. Even, like, you gotta be, I want to make sure that there's always something, because I'm not, like, I'm not a fan of, like, young people. Like, I just, I'm, I'm not. Like, even when I was a kid, like, when I was, like, eight years old, ten years old, I'd walk around saying, like, I fucking hate kids. And they say, Josh, but you are a kid. And I'm like, yeah, and I hate being a kid. <laughs> like, I, I, I just, I don't know. I've never been a fan of young people. 
and so if my popularity goes beyond a certain point I want to make sure that like there aren't like because like you guys are like mischievous and I don't like mischief so I, want, I might even wear two body cams because these guys, like, I don't know, have you seen, like, I think it's the first episode of uh, GTO, uh, Great Teacher Onizuka. Uh, it's an anime. And, like, the first episode, like, this guy, he's, like, 22, and he's, like, he's, he, in order to, like, I don't know if it's, like, for college or whatever, he has to, like, teach this class, and they, like, trick him. It's, like, because he's, he's, like, a, like slightly criminal-ish, <laughs> you know, and he's... And he's like, and he's like, man, I'm gonna fucking be a teacher, and I'm gonna get to hang out with all these fucking high school, <laughs> high school girls. And then uh, now that clip could be taken out of context. I kind of hope it does. That'd be kind of nice. It's gonna give me like um, an opportunity to. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not a detective. I'm not, a, I'm not law enforcement. I'm not CIA. I'm not FBI. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, and so what they do is they try to trick him. They just, so on like his first day, the student's like, "Oh, could I, you know, could I, could I come fuck, can I come by your house <laughs> after after school, and like just like hang, you could like teach me like like help me with my homework." And he, this guy's like, "Oh yeah, sure, dude." It's like he, he, like he can't believe like it's like it's already like happening. And um, so she goes home and she's like, "Oh, let me fucking like get more comfortable." And she like you know takes off her clothes and all this. And, and she gets all comfortable, and she, she gets him into this position, and then right when they he thinks like they're about to like get all into it, like three like other high school like boys come out and they they take a picture of him. They they're like ah we got you, <laughs> and they're like ah, and it's like they're like they, they like they catch him, um, they 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 frame him <laughs> as a uh, like we'll use this as leverage because they're like all bad kids. And he says we're we're gonna use this against you. But they don't realize he's more of a criminal than they are. Like he's like fucking. He's like bad. He's a, that's why he's great. He's GTO, great teacher uh, Oni, Onizuka, Onizuka, Onizuka. I think that's. Yeah, that's it. So, um, like, uh, I'm not. Like I, I've been so ice. Like I'm, I'm out here. Like I'm only dealing with the public, but I still. Um, I realize, like people, I'm like, easily taken advantage of. Like someone could, someone could easily try. I mean, I'm like, if like a, a fucking high school girl comes up to me, it's like, oh, Josh, fucking come stay with me. <laughs> you know, like I'm like, no, 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 no. All the history down that road. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> anyway, so I just. Um, like I'm, a, I'm a naturally cautious person, but even so, like I just sometimes, like I really want to make sure that on the off chance that I'm not able to detect when someone's like doing something like mischievous or nefarious, that I, I remind myself like just to be alert, because I like if I get like really popular, I tend to do like a lot of drinking, and I just you know I, I, maybe it's like a little cheap for me to say this, but you know I just I like I always want to have like a, a can of steel reserve like just ne nearby and like. I just don't like just want to be like just dropping like empties and tall boys <laughs> wherever I go. Like it'll be like a sign. Like, if I could just like sign like two elevens, like <laughs> like that's what be like. People come up to me and, and si ha it's like sign my two eleven, sign my two eleven. That's what I want. Like that's the kind of that. Like I like I don't I don't necessarily like want people to, like take pictures of me. But if they come up to me with a can of steel reserve, like sign my fucking steel reserve, like I I would love that. I would jet. I don't care about fame. I don't care about fucking even having money or anything. But Someone coming up to me and asking me to fucking sign their 211, like that's, it, it warms my heart. It really does. It really does. I fucking love beer. <laughs> I love beer. I like just, I, and it's, and the fucking, uh, you know, 211, like you can't, you can't beat it. Like you, you cannot beat a 211. It's like a, it's like a $3 beer and like it does its job. Like you can't, I don't know. And like a young person coming up, because young people don't drink the, like the like the Trulies and the White Claws. Like this is what they're into. You can't bring a two eleven to a party. I tried that. I tried like I bought like a like a six pack or a twelve pack of uh, uh, Steel Reserve two elevens, and like it wasn't like it doesn't make things fun. Like <laughs> you're drinking that because you have to. <laughs> you know that, that you're not. That's not for fun. So. Um, that's my intent, and obviously, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not advocating that chill, like underage drinking. Like, if someone's like, sign it. But I mean, I, what's the, what's the rule there? Like, if a, if an underage like person comes up to me and says, like, sign this out, am I allowed to sign like a, like a beer? Like, I don't know. 
I'm not giving them beer. I'm not buying it for them. I'll have to check that out. It's really happening. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be gonna be like a fucking famous guy, dude. So fucking famous. All right, sorry. I'm not trying to belittle anyone's position. Because during my speech yesterday, I was thinking, you know what I think? I think, like, cause sometimes people come up to me and they're just like, they look straight past me. Like, they can't even see me. Like, I'm, I'm talking to them. I can clearly see what they're looking at. They're not looking at me. They're just like, I'm... Like, I'm just like their lens or whatever. They're like a fucking like a window or whatever. And so... I'm just, um... I feel like I'm like some celebrity's like dream. Like I wish that I wasn't famous. Like that's why I feel like there's some celebrity or a group of celebrities somewhere and they're like, I really wish I wasn't famous anymore. Like I wish I could just walk around and nobody knew me. Nobody nobody could recognize me. Nobody asked me to be anywhere and I just like I, I would just be a nobody. Like I feel like that's what I am. Like someone like some famous person's dream. Like if I could be that, like something they could never be. <laughs> Like, they're so famous that they can never be, like, just, like, a forgotten, unknown person. But, yeah. So, I, I just wanted to state my intent. And, like, if I ever go, like, on a talk show, too. Like, this is part of my gimmick. I want to have, like, a gimmick where I'm, like, where I'm, like, always drinking, like, a 211. Like, just like, always, like, a beer in my hand. Not, maybe not a beer. I mean, I don't, I don't, like, I think the hard alcohol with, like, if I had, like, Jack Daniels or something or fucking vodka, I think that's a little played out. I never see a, like a guy with like 211 or old English. Like, let's get some real representation here. So, also, I've you know I've been trying to control my mood. I feel like I've been in a particularly bad mood. I want to make sure that I'm, you know, I'm really getting this under control. Like, I don't like I don't like being in this terrible a mood. And I want to make sure that I'm I'm, I'm, I'm being healthy. You know, I want to be like a healthy person. Because this type of upset it doesn't lead to good things. And so I'm I'm. I'm uh, attempting to process like in efficient ways, so I think it'll be good. Um, I think you need a town drunk, because you know, I mean, some people they drink, but people are always trying to make them feel guilty about drinking. It's like you need a town drunk, okay? In the old days, like you had a town drunk, and people didn't fucking feel bad for that guy. It's like that's the town drunk. I think that should be me. I think I should be like the world's most famous town drunk. Not famous for drinking or for, like, you know, unpleasant things or whatever, but just like, oh, that's next. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. We, we got to, we, uh, let's play it by ear. <laughs> let's see how that goes. All right. Those fucking beers were great, though. Whoever left those beers last night, thank you very much. There's a Trulies in, uh, in, in Chess Park <laughs> and uh, on, like, some lamppost or whatever and, uh, or, like, one of those, uh, traffic, uh, those metal traffic blocker thing, like, like, unopened, too, like, I mean, that was, and full, like, I, thank you, thank you, like, I, I really, I really appreciated those beers, because I'm not, I haven't been buying beers, like, I have not bought any alcohol, like, since, since they started requiring masks, because, like, if you're asking me to, to wear a mask, I'm not gonna go fucking wear a mask to buy a beer, that's bullshit, like, that is total bullshit, <laughs> I, I, I won't do it, so, I've been, like, a severe deficit, people have been giving me money, too, and I've just been, I only spend my money on beer, and so I'm just having to toss the money away. I've been, I've been putting the money. Uh, I won't say where. Anyway, let's just say I, I've not, I've not been buying beer. And uh, yeah, all right. So whoever left those beers, thank you very much. I mean, truly, isn't a beer. It's a, it's a seltzer or something, right? But uh, anyway, thank you. Anyway, thank you for. Uh, uh, for leaving that and it, it helped my day out and uh, you know I'm really glad like when, when people when people don't ask me stupid fucking questions nah. like, uh, like I, my time is precious you waste my time I'm gonna waste your fucking time alright just remember that please remember that you waste my time I'm gonna waste your time alright <clears throat> I'm 34 years old and I've got the best grades <laughs> on earth.